Here's how to protect your area with World Guard. Step one, do slash slash one. You go ahead and get a wand. It will be a bat egg. Step two, you need to select two points. This is your area that you want to protect. So let's go ahead and I'm going to select this. For another reason, I am left clicking it. And then let's, I'm going to right click this up here. So now I have between this and this selected. Okay, now do slash RG claim and enter some kind of name. So, here. as you can see, the region has been claimed, and I own this region now. So, and that's it. You're done. Your region is now protected. Anyone can enter your region, but they will be unable to place blocks, break blocks, use anything, open doors, chests, and nothing. They're not going to be able to do anything but move along. Now it's common to let a friend be able to do stuff as well. To do that, just add your friend to the region you own. Simply stand in your region, as I'm doing right now, I'm in the region, and do slash RG info. As you can tell, the region, it has no flags, we can cover that later. This is me, the owner, and I have no members. Here you can see all the information about your region. You can make your friend an owner which means they have full control over your region and can even remove you and lock you out or make them a member whereby they have no control over your region, but they can still build, break, and interact with things normally. This is what you're going to want most of the time. You're most of the time going to want your friend to just be a member of your region because you don't want your friend to start changing settings up and removing you as owner um, locking you out. Of it. They can even prevent you from entering the region. And so it's usually a lot of power you don't want to give. But regardless, to add your friend as an owner, you would click add and you would enter their name. Now, if we run rerun RG Info, you can see that uh, Seer and me are both owners of this region. Um, to go ahead and remove an owner, you just click remove, and then you enter the name, and before you re-update it, we can see that a seer is no longer an owner. For members, it's exactly the same. And re-update it. Now you can see that I'm owner and Seer is a member, which means Seer has no control over the region, but can still play the game normally inside the region. And we can revoke that. Now Seer has, um, when Seer enters the region, Seer will no longer be able to break blocks or open doors or, or really anything. Seer will just have to keep moving on. You can actually remove a region, and it just removes it. There is a limit to the size of the region that you can create, and the region that you are claiming cannot overlap a region that someone else is claiming. If you want a really large region, that's perfectly fine, but generally you will have to ask an admin um, to set that up for you and get, set you up a really, really large region. But once that region is set up by an admin, you still have full control over it. And you can change members out, you can change settings, you can do a lot of stuff. You can even remove it. Of course, this is a tiny fraction of what World Guard is capable of, but that's the basics. Thanks for watching.